What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another 30 day fishing challenge episode. I think it's day number 25. My buddy Clark and I are here at Burke Lake. So this is probably one of the cleanest spots that we could fish. We've had a ton of rain as you guys have heard me talk about and as you've seen in the videos over the last few days and it's just absolutely torn up the river. I was hoping that it would have dropped the water temperature here down at Burke Lake down low enough to fish for muskie. Still 80 degrees so five degrees too warm but we're gonna get out here there he is. Here, go ahead, hop on. What's up, man? I'm searching for that huge Walmart girl. Walmart girl. Walmart girl. We are gonna get out here and see if we can catch some of these Burke Lake bass. Something kind of cool about this lake is it's probably the most pressured lake in Northern Virginia, like by far. So we're gonna get out here and see how we can do. Clark's already caught two today. He was doing a little bit of pre-fishing before I got here. Sanka, waited Sanka. First two, yep. Uh, yeah, waited wacky, first two casts. There you go. Could so, be a good sign or a bad sign. It could be, we'll see. But we're gonna hop out on the water. We're gonna be dodging a bunch of rain today, so gotta put this away. I was throwing this trick worm around for a second, but I'm gonna try, where is it? I'm gonna throw the Texas rig around a bit. So Clark caught two fish on the edges of these grass lines. And if you saw yesterday's video, I was saying how I never catch too many fish on these, but I think the difference with this place is it has hydrilla kind of mixed in with it. I doubt you guys can see it, but there are like a bunch of patches of hydrilla out here. So maybe we can get lucky. Jacket's coming back on. Yeah, I took mine off. I, can, I, was, uh, dude. I think I'm good. Yeah, as soon as you take it off, that's when the rain knows. Well, here is one advantage for you guys and tip to use when you're gonna fish a really pressured lake. Go out on days like this, when it's nasty. You'll at least have the lake to yourself but a swim jig would work pretty good. Since we have all this hydrilla mixed in with that willow leaf grass, I'm gonna try tying on this swim jig, just reeling it through it. Seems like pretty good swim jig conditions. It's good to go. Yeah, this water is crazy clear. I can still see uh, way more than two. I thought it was only two feet. It's, I mean, you could probably see down like four. It's awesome. Get them. Oh. oh, I just got bit. <laughs> got whacked. That's crazy. They're, they must be up on this point. I just I got bit real good. There. Yeah, dude. I just, it might have stolen my tail. It didn't, but I definitely got bit right there. First cast. I got tugged on. I have one of like the, the suit. Oh. There <laughs> we Fish on. This feels, I heard you give them the business right there. That feels like a decent fish, too. Bad fish. Come here, buddy. Oh no, not my Red Bull, not my Red Bull. Not the Red Bull. So there's a bunch of hydrilla out here, which I didn't know this place had. I don't fish here in the summer too often, but we're probably 30 or 40 yards off the bank. We're just kind of fishing over the tops of it. Clark got whacked on his jig. I got whacked on the first cast with the swim jig and then this little two pounder just crushed it. See ya. I'm really happy about how clean the water is right now. We're gonna jump across the lake grass kind of died out it's not here anymore right. plus this area gets pressured a lot more than that side this I mean does? yeah because so many people can hit this from the bank mm -hmm. you can like wait it this is where the park is so this side of the lake definitely gets pressured more than that side obviously that side gets hit by boats but not as bad get them oh yeah oh yeah okay, I got totally it. worth it <laughs> Sally. Yeah. I saw that bite. He absolutely crushed. Nice catch, man, on the jig. Black and blue jig right in that yeah. tree. Solid. He's probably two and two and a half, two and three quarters. Change. Yeah, absolutely. Nice That's catch. Nice little healthy one. Yeah, look how just solid that fish is. See ya. Nice catch, man. That's super Ooh. good. Black and blue jig in the wood. So as far as the swim jig goes, I'm basically just fishing it like a spinnerbait. It's super easy to fish. Just cast it out, retrieve it, you can give it some hops. Basically, I'm just trying to tick it off the tops of the grass that's uh, out in front of us. Had a bunch of bites on it, one fish. But Clark just caught a fish on the black and blue flipping jig in the wood. That's my favorite thing to do. So I'm about to pick mine up once we get up here. 648, we've been out for two hours, hour and a half? Two hours, yeah, two hours we've got. Two fish. 
two fish, two solid fish. A couple other bites and kind of died off. Once the rain started, same thing. It just kind of died. But we're working our way towards the dam. We're going to move a little bit shallower, fish some more of this grass, some of this point. I know there's a brush pile out here. Hit some of that. And then probably be done because it's going to get dark. We saw like two hours. So noticing a lot of suspended fish like this. And I was throwing the dealie around for probably the last 30 minutes or so. Didn't get a single bite on it. Not even a nibble. Not even a nibble. I don't know. Maybe they want something else. This is the kind of pressured lake where you need to throw something like a drop shot or something for this fish. I think I could get them to bite the dealie. I just need to find the right ones that want to eat it. Oh. Nice. That was a good fish. <laughs> Whoops. All right, that was the uh, first bite on the shaky head. Right out of this little brush pile on this point. It was probably like a high three, four pounder-ish. Still finessing it. We're gonna throw a drop shot around a bit. Do you wanna flip into the grass or do you wanna stay off of it a bit? Cause I can throw this thing wherever. What do you wanna do? I'll try flipping in the grass. I've never, never tried before. All right, we'll get close then closer it's gonna be I mean it's 18 feet here so it's pretty deep they should be up in that stuff oh oh come on eat it first cast with the drop oh oh my god come on it might be like a pesky bluegill down there or something but he's eating it like a bass like he's biting it real good and running and letting go it's not the machine gun Whoop. sorry <laughs> dip it nice Clark's hooked up Oh yeah. Oh! <laughs> Almost oh, had it. It's all right, it was a dink. Yeah. I oh, know, did I lose my weight? Sure did. Oh. Again? Oh. Dang, you just got whacked twice in a row and I got whacked right there too. Did, oh, you got, oh my God. Dang, dude. Oh wait, your line's right there, your line's right there. It's right there? Yeah, you see it? Yeah. Hang on, we're gonna get over there and get it. Hang on. Oh, it broke it the leader. No, it didn't break it the leader. It, it was too long. Dang, hang on, let me throw the crankbait through there. Let me throw this through here a couple times. I might be able to pull it up. Fish could still be on there. You got like a good hook set on it. It's just the stress overloaded it. Let me see one more time. Oh yeah, it's screwed. So look at the bottom first, how it's rounded, kind of beveled, and then uh -huh. look at the top. It's like that bevel cracked off. Oh, I that's, see that's why your line broke, yeah. When my line starts breaking like that, like when it breaks at the rod, it's usually because of that eyelet. Dang, I thought we were going to be able to get that line. Too freaking slow, my darn troller motor. All right, we tried the drop shot for a while, had a bite on the first cast. Clark caught a fish and then missed a giant on a jig, back-to-back -back cast, so. I'll say it was a Mondo. That was the Walmart girl that we were searching for. I think it might have been. Did we? I think we both missed our Walmart girls today. So far, we still have an hour, but you know how that goes. Yeah, you know how that goes. Sorry, you gotta miss miss them once in a while. Just not the real big ones. Probably got like 20, 30 minutes left. We'll finish the day off with the buzz bait. Something should absolutely annihilate this thing. Sounds so good. It's just so loud. I don't know if we should move up closer to the grass. Try that for a bit. So we fished pretty far off for a little. Oh. <laughs> so it came up and smoked it. Yeah, that was awesome. Buzzbait fish. There we go. He's about a pound and a half. It's funny too, because we were just talking about moving in closer. And, I mean, granted, that was the same cast that I made before we did, but he definitely wasn't far off the bank. He might have actually followed that too. We'll see if we get any more. Oh my God, that oh, thing yeah. annihilated it, dude. That's a solid fish too. He absolutely freaking smoked that thing. Hell yeah, topwater fish. That was sweet. I wasn't plopper. even looking. That sounded gigantic. I know. That's a solid fish though. I saw the lay down. I was like, if there's gonna be a fish, it's gonna be right there. Yeah. Took a deep breath and I was like, please. <laughs> 
That was awesome. He, he did. I dude, just heard it and I was like, oh, he it. just absolutely crushed it. That's your first whopper plopper Ooh. fish, too, right? Yeah, it was. Nice. Hopefully, we can get a that couple more. Brother. That was awesome. That thing had some serious base to it. Nice. <clears throat> oh, wow. Where are you there we go. Nice. I don't know if you guys can see it because it's so dark. It's probably two and a half on the buzz bait. We'll take it. At dark. At dark. <laughs> see ya. That was cool. That's it. Dunzo. Good day. It got dark out there real quick the other day. So Clark and I had a really good afternoon fishing out at Burke Lake. And again, that is the most pressured lake in Northern Virginia. But with that being said, as you guys saw, you can still go out and catch good fish. That's actually the lake where my PV comes from. It was 7-2, caught it on an A-rig in December. So, can't be afraid of pressured lakes. There's fish there. I know there's good fish in there. There's also musky in there, which is why I love going. But, again, a little bit too warm to fish for them. But, yeah, just try different things when you're fishing these pressured lakes. Downsize, fish some really, really small finesse baits make it look really natural or go on the opposite end of that spectrum and throw something just gigantic like a huge swim bait throw something that those fish have never seen because they're always used to being hit with lures like every single day spring summer fall just constant abuse so try these things out if you have a local pressured lake or it's somewhere you fish a bunch just try something different go out and catch some fish go have some fun go explore figure it out I still haven't fully figured it out, that's for sure, but I can go out there and catch fish. That's all that matters. So, really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you hit that like button for me, and also, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, please hit that subscribe button right there. We are closing in on 40K. So close, but I gotta go. See you tomorrow.